another video on the tattoo and where we are as you can see we've made some progress on the chassis and on the motion and this one uh, is a bit of an eye-opener for me um, we have rods in place uh, no valve gear yet but rods and uh, my progress on this was uh, different because this thing has got marine rods as opposed to conventional locomotive type uh, so profiling them was out of the question I therefore drew them up in uh, Design Spark Mechanical so I could at least get a handle on uh, the, the mountain to climb if you see what I mean Conventional wisdom would, of course, be to uh, make the ends, uh, the bearing bosses, and then use wire for the main body of it, which is round in section, obviously. Um, but, of course, you've then got to ensure they come out the, rent, uh, the right length. Um, Having then drawn it out and uh, found out exactly uh, what it entailed, uh, I thought, well, might as well as not print it uh, in this uh, engineering-like resin. And uh, I, uh, having also, of course, quartered the wheels, or quartered the cranks, I beg your pardon, using uh, these quartering plates which I had made up these are laser cut and um, they're laser cut with the uh, exact profile of the cranks uh, at 90 degrees from each other so uh, you can use them for very accurately quartering the axles simply by setting them up like that kind of thing and uh, it made quartering so easy it so easy it's actually embarrassing and um, I uh, printed some rods and assembled the thing and it ran very very sweetly with no fuss no trouble at all um, it then became clear that actually the printed rods were perfectly good and perfectly use, uh, usable in service, which is great. Um, so I carried on down that path and printed con rods uh, and uh, also printed the crossheads. Now... Um, these cross heads are of course a real fiddle to make conventionally because they've got this rectangular hollow within them um, and fabrication is not easy i could of course do it as uh, a one-off for myself but that's not the object of the exercise and printing is a much much easier solution you can see here there are um, here's a print and you can see it's hollow now actually that's a pretty good uh, rectangular hole in the middle but it isn't perfect um, so I also needed to find a way of cleaning out that hole to um, uh, get it a nice running fit in the uh, 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 on the slide bar the answer is surprisingly simple it's of course a plastic crosshead and therefore um, any tools I make needn't be uh, out of silver steel or machine tool steel or anything like that I can make them out of almost anything so I made up a, a tool says he finding that and that's just nickel silver 
and it's the same thickness indeed it's the same material as the slide bar itself and it's the same width and then I just filed uh, a lead uh, a slight taper on both planes so in thickness and in width very very slight and then filed very rough teeth on uh, on the edge one edge and one surface and that becomes a brooch and um, because it's just slightly tapered I could pass the brooch through the um, uh, hole in the crosshead and just gently open it out uh, having of course initially made this piece the size of the, the width of the slide bar so I could open out very easily the hole uh, to fit the slide bar with this very very simple homemade brooch and it works really well uh, as simple as that and in fact I just put a little milliput handle on to make it very very simple so the process of opening out the hole once I made this quick tool uh, the process of doing it takes literally about 10 seconds uh, onto this thing itself um, the motor is disengaged but to to prove it um, whoops a daisy the thing is whoops st still nice and free running as long as you don't get it in any holes in the computer and there we have it the motors disengaged at the moment just push it forward to engage so we have here printed printed motion which works fine uh, valve gear will be next um, I had to insert uh, a slim down nut in between coupling rod and con rod to get that spacing right um, but it's as simple as that compensation works fine um, that's sort of where we are and all there is to it with, uh, with that baby it's cylinders on next uh, and I shall check to make sure that there's no um, uh, there's no binding with that and uh, I'm just fettling up um, a body uh, to uh, get that fitted and ready that's coming up well there's no uh, I don't think there's any nastinesses with with that uh, and no real news on that either so there we go that's progress at the moment but the interesting thing for me is uh, that this resin is good for uh, good for this motion